We want to review the kind of numbers that you're going to be working with in this course, and they're called real numbers. Basically, they're all the numbers that you can think of. Whole numbers, negative numbers, fractions, decimals, percents, things like that. In mathematics, we define them at real numbers as being numbers associated with points on the real number line. This gives us a visual way to interpret it. So you can see here's the number 4, and it's associated with that point on the real number line. So we want to look at some of these terms that are associated with real numbers. It's opposite. So for instance, if this is 4, the opposite of 4 is negative 4. It's this number down here. And the opposite of negative 4 is positive 4. So 4 and negative 4 are opposites. Um, reciprocal, so the reciprocal of 4 is 1 fourth. The absolute value of 4 is just its distance from 0 on the number line, and so we use this notation. Absolute value of 4 is equal to 4. And then when we say the square root of 4, it's actually a little incorrect. We need to say either the positive square root of 4 or the negative square root of 4. But a lot of times we just say square root, and when we say square root, we mean, or it's implied, that we're talking about the positive square root of 4. So this positive square root of 4 looks like this. Positive square root of 4 is the positive number we squared to get 4, which is 2. If I wanted the negative square root of 4, I would say this. I would put the negative sign in front of it, and then you would know that I meant negative 2. So that's the negative square root of 4. This is the positive square root of 4. And the square root of negative 4 does not exist as a real number, because we can't find a real number to square and get 4. So what's the deal with opposites? Well, opposites always add to 0. So 4 plus negative 4 turns out to be 0. 0 is a special number in mathematics because anytime you add 0 to a number, it doesn't change the number. The reciprocal of 4 is 1 fourth because 1 fourth is the number I multiply 4 by to get 1. And 1 is a special number in mathematics because it's the number you multiply other numbers by and it doesn't change their value. So 0 and 1 are special numbers in mathematics, and we need to, a way to get there from a real number like 4. So to get to 0 from 4, we add negative 4. To get to 1 from 4, we multiply by its reciprocal 1 fourth. So that gives us what? The absolute value, sometimes we just want to talk about the distance a number is from 0 and not its direction. So the absolute value of 4 is 4, and the absolute value of negative 4 is also 4 just the distance from zero on the number line. And then the last thing, square root, and when we say square root, we really mean the positive square root. It's the positive number we square to get that number four. So in this case, it's two. So that's, we're gonna work with real numbers in this section, do a little review of them, talk about opposites, reciprocals, absolute values, square roots, and then look at some of the formulas you'll see in statistics that involve these things.